Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some circles on the grid today. Only five of them though. Let's start with one across. Waiting room fair in brief. Okay, I think this should be mags maybe for magazines. Let's see if we can build off of that. Very on a music score. I wonder if that's molto? That's Italian, right? You blank beautiful? Is it you are so beautiful? That's very nice of them. American Gothic artist. Oh. Hmm. I think he might have shown up on a puzzle before, but I don't remember his name. Title for Eva Peron. I guess you would call her a Signora? Yeah, this isn't a governmental title. That's pretty funny. Yankees manager whose teams never miss the postseason. Wow, that's an impressive streak. It's looking like this is going to be Joe Torre, maybe? Gather as information. That could be Glean. TG, is this going to be TGIF? The weekend's almost here, yay! And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. So I think TGIF is a very good equivalent there. All right, let's take a look at our first circle here. Well-trodden as a path. Hmm, this is very interesting. My first thought when I saw this clue was the answer should be foot-worn. So I wonder if we have rebuses today. It's kind of surprising to see a rebus theme on a Tuesday, but let's put that in and see what it gives us here. This would be foot worn. Ooh, we have a two in the rebus here. That's very interesting. It definitely makes me feel like our rebus hypothesis is correct. Yeah. Maybe we have one, two, three, four, five in rebuses. Let's see if that's the case. So this should be foot worn. Is this going to have a two in it? American Gothic artist. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be Grant something. That's still not ringing any bells though. Let's see if this is an N. Uncool man. Another equivalent phrase. Maybe that could just be, it's not okay. That would be a good equivalent. Horses bit. Oh man, is this the part that goes in their mouth? I don't know about that. Explosion maker? That could be TNT. Try nitrotoluene. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be what a horse eats, actually. Yeah, like a bit of food. Oh, I like that a lot better. That could be oat, right? And then this could be W-O-O. -O. Hmm. Blank pro quo. That should be quid pro quo, right? One thing for another. Okay, so it's gonna be Grant Wood. Yeah, I don't think I ever would have come up with that. It doesn't sound familiar to me. I know we've all seen this painting though. American Gothic is a iconic painting. Okay, DC Media Giant for short. Hmm, Media Giant. It's not like C-SPAN or something. Is it like a media corporation? I don't know. Sign on a vintage appliance at a flea market, maybe. Hmm. I would want this to be, it works. So maybe it's two again. I wonder if these are all going to be twos. Yeah. Let's put in two again. It works. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Let's take a look at this one here. Near the North or South Pole, say. Hmm. I guess if you were at either of those places, you would be at World's End. <laughs> That's great. 
That's a really nice piece of fill. Hmm. It doesn't help too much here though. TV's The Good Blank. Is that The Good Wife? I think I've heard of that one. Two's Counterpart. So we're kind of looking for the opposite of two. Maybe that could be Fro. You could go two and Fro, yeah. Nightmare Street, that is Elm Street. That's where Freddy Krueger lives. Oh, is this WAPO? Oh man, that's the Washington Post, yeah. Shoot, okay. Championing, that could be promoting. Nice, okay. All right, so we're gonna be running into our next two here. Lead in to be happy. <laughs> Shouldn't that be don't worry, be happy? That's a song, isn't it? Okay, so let's put our two in here. Don't worry. I wonder if there's any significance to the fact that there's five twos? Five twos. Hmm, that doesn't mean anything to me. Interesting. Communicated through channels? Through channels. Like secret channels? I'm not sure about this one. Hmm. Squirrel away. That could be store, maybe? You're storing acorns for the winter? Like Thor or Loki? Those are both Norse gods. Oddity. Hmm. It seems like it should start with weird, maybe? I don't know how it's gonna end. It's not a weird thing. Hmm. B and B's, those could be ins. Brink could be the edge. So that would give us we, is this Michelle We? Yeah, Michelle We West of the LPGA. Yeah, she's a really good golfer. Hmm. Okay, so it ends in word. I'm still not sure, that's so interesting. Blank Ghiberti. Sculptor of Florence's Gates of Paradise. <laughs> I have no idea on this one. Wow, okay. Bake as eggs? Um, I have no idea. Eggs are not really my thing. Calendar column, or a punny hint to the circled squares. Interesting, okay. It's gonna be a column on a calendar. Is it going to be Tuesday? Tuesday. I mean, it kind of has the word twos in it, right? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. So I guess we get a twos theme because it's Tuesday. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Tuesday. That's great. And they ran it on a Tuesday. Very apropos. Hmm, okay, Sleepless in Seattle director Efren. That's Nora Efren. She showed up just a few days ago. So maybe this could be sent word. Oh, finally. That was really tough to see. Skip over. That could be allied. Yeah, if you allied something, you're skipping over it in like text or speech. I wonder if this is gonna be like Lorenzo? Is this a Z? Pasta that's often baked. Yeah, that could be baked ziti. Is this an O? Shade of black. That could be onyx, maybe. Ooh, look at those rare letters. That's great. German article. This could be the word for A in German. That could be ein. Pen that's full of oink. <laughs> and this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. With wordplay clues, you have to look for a punny answer. Um, so I think the pun here is that this kind of sounds like pen that's full of ink, but instead we're looking for a pen that's full of oink. <laughs> so that's gonna be like a pig pen, right? Or a sty, very funny. Shortcut to highlighting the address bar on most internet browsers. Hmm. Does it end in X? Shortcut. Hmm. 
I have no idea. It seems like this is going to be weirdness, right? What? Oh, maybe it's F6. Oh man. You know, I don't think I've ever seen them use an F key as an entry before. This is kind of new. That's very interesting. Okay, home to the Texas Motor Speedway with seating for more than 150,000 spectators. Hmm, I guess this is probably gonna be a city in Texas. Hmm, I don't know if I can think of one that starts with F. Wait a minute, we have a Rebus in it. It's gonna be Fort Worth, isn't it? Yeah, that has a two in it. Very nice, okay. All right, our second to last Rebus. Fort Worth. Very nice, that's great, okay. In the past, could that be a go? Lawyers Org could be the American Bar Association. Screw off car parts. I think you screw off the gas cap, right? Nice, okay. You know what, let's move over to the left before we get too much of the bottom filled in here. Last Chinese Dynasty, 1644 to 1912. Oof, um, I don't know, is it like the Qing Dynasty? Son of in Arabic names. I wanna say it's like Ibn maybe, like that. That's a tough one. It's a unique letter string though. A lift competitor, yeah, that's Uber. After tax, that could be net. That's your earnings after tax. What's this long down? What parallel lines never do. They never intersect, right? If they're truly parallel. Okay. Beowulf's first combatant. He fought Grendel, didn't he? Yeah. Water channel that rises and falls. Hmm. I mean, I think it would have something to do with the tide because of this rises and falls hint in the clue. I don't know how it's going to end, though. Let's see if this I is correct. Like, much Three Stooges humor? Is that going to be inane? <laughs> is there a little bit of editorializing going on here? Is this an N? Quelkis blank? A few in French. Oof, man, we have a French review already. Uh, I want to say maybe it's like uns, maybe? I'm not sure about that, though. Let's see if this is an A for inane. Bobby of the Black Panthers. Oh, um, shoot, I don't know if I know this. Hmm. Buying channel on TV. Okay, that should be the Home Shopping Network. So it probably is inane. Hmm, this is a real mystery to me. I have no idea what's going on here. It almost looks like there's something wrong. Man, I don't know. Blank pieces. And there's a very subtle hint in this clue. The word pieces is capitalized. So that means this has to be a proper noun. Maybe it could be like a brand name. Could it be Reese's Pieces? That's very tricky. Hmm. Foster Professional Connections. This is definitely gonna be Network. Yeah. Excellent, okay. And what do we have on the across here? I'm speechless, another equivalent phrase. Hmm. Is that going to be just wow? <laughs> I guess that's a good equivalent there. Writer Pico with the 2021 novel Wish You Were Here. I've never heard of this writer before. We're going to have to get that on crosses. Well informed about. Maybe that could be up on? Yeah. Patron of the Met, say? I guess they're talking about the Met Museum. Maybe it could be the Met Opera. Could it be an opera lover? Ooh, no, that doesn't quite fit. Hmm, I bet it is going to start with opera though. 
where ships are outfitted. I guess it's going to be at a dock or something. Hmm. Bad result for a QB. And there's an abbreviation in the clue here, so that means the answer needs to be abbreviated also. I think this is going to be interception. Hmm. Is it Jody? Is it a dock? Is this going to be a tideway? I've never heard of that before. Maybe this could be dock yards. Ooh, very tricky. Chatterbox's gift. I guess that could be the gift of Gab. <laughs> I like that gift is in quotes there. Earth deposit. Is that going to be ore? That would be a deposit of metal in the earth. So maybe this is going to be opera goer. Blank in show. That's best in show. Oh, there's a typo here. Whoops. Yeah, that's a Christopher Guest movie. Okay. Cafeteria trays on snowy days, perhaps. <laughs> Could those be used as sleds? Very small sleds. Lead into while. That's going to be erstwhile. Bad, but better than the alternatives. Is that going to be least worst? That's another really nice piece of fill. One of the things I love about Rebuses is they let you get longer entries into a normal sized grid. Yeah, so you could have at least worst. Yeah, normally that would be a 10 letter answer, but you can squeeze it into eight here. That's really nice. Okay, enters unannounced with in. Could that be barges in? Vice encouraged by capitalism. I guess that's greed. These in Spanish. Um, this is one of those words that has a mystery vowel in it. I think it's gonna have to be left blank for now. I believe this could be an A, an O. I think it might even be able to be an E. Let's see what this crossing answer is. First stringers. Okay, that's gonna be the A team. So we have estas for these. Part of a flower or watch. Is that gonna be a stem? Ooh, that's tricky. Yeah, on winding watches, you use the stem to wind them up. Very tricky. And then this is going to be Crete, birthplace of Zeus in myth. That sounds right. Okay, so we're left with this square here. Hmm, this is so tricky. Is it were? Wheel? That seems really wrong to me. Um, I want this to be like an N, Neil, or maybe an S, Seal, Sure, S H I R R. Is that right? Oh boy. I think S is probably the most plausible answer. Bobby Seal. And then this sure word that I've never heard of before. Um, but yeah, let's throw that S in there and cross our fingers and hope that that'll do it for us. Okay, a Tuesday puzzle in 29 minutes. Um, that's a little longer than it should be. I had some cat related recording problems at the beginning of today's puzzle. Um, yeah, this should probably be closer to 25 or 26 minutes, but yeah, that's still kind of a long time for a Tuesday puzzle. Oh, look at this. It makes a two. Oh, that's so funny. I love it. We get this fun grid art at the end as a reward. That is so cool. I always love when we get those. All right, let's talk about this theme. As I said before, I always love when rebuses show up. Um, I like that on this Tuesday puzzle, they kind of indicate where they are. In later week puzzles, a lot of the time there's no indication and you kind of have to discover them on their own. But because it's on such an early week puzzle, I think it's a good idea that they gave you an idea that there's something tricky going on here. Um, I did love the wordplay in the revealer, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. We got five twos that make a number two. Hey, and today is February. That's the second month. 22nd, 2022. 
oh my god, there's about as many twos in today's date as we're ever going to get, unless we're still alive 200 years from now. That's so funny. Wow, I'm so glad they marked this special day with such a fun theme. That is really, really cool. As far as the rest of the fill goes, kind of like yesterday, although not to the same extent, we kind of had a lot of proper nouns today. We had Joe Torrey, we had Nora Ephron, we had Grant Wood, although he was part of the theme, so you kind of have to have him in there. We had Bobby Seal, we had Jody down here, yeah. Some of these are kind of tricky too. We had Lorenzo, yeah, that was another tricky one. Um, but yeah, thankfully none of them were intersecting except for Lorenzo and Nora, but hopefully most people know Nora Ephron. She's a pretty well-known director, um, but yeah. On an early week puzzle, it is kind of surprising to see that many proper nouns, and a few of them are a little on the obscure side. But man, did we have some nice long fill on this one. I loved At World's End, that's really nice. Least Worst is really good. Opera Goer, Dockyards, yeah. Intersect is pretty good. Weirdness is a lot of fun. I loved seeing Grendel too, that's a great one. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that extra special Tuesday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.